does it actually look like in the astral realm? When you're astral projecting, what does it look like? My name is Kay and in this video I'm going to be describing my experiences with what I've seen in the astral realm. Now it all depends on where you're at. When I'm astral traveling in my bedroom, like right around my physical body or in my neighborhood, you know, places like that, it looks exactly like what you would imagine it to look like during nighttime because I always astral project at nighttime and when I'm in my bedroom, it's dark. It's hard to see unless I have like a night light on or there's some light from somewhere. I often like to leave a some sort of light on so I can actually see. And if I go around my house in the neighborhood, I can see the lights from outside. I often travel through the woods. I live in, a, in the mountains, so I go through the mountains a lot and it's dark, but I could see the moon, I could see the stars, and they give some sort of brightness to it. But overall, it's dark, and there seems to be a natural darkness to the astral realm. Anyways, things seem a little shadowy, a little bit difficult to see, there's not quite sharp edges, I have to get up really close to something to see it really well. Now, when I'm astral projecting, up above the earth and I'm heading out into outer space that looks different I'm moving really fast so I see the stars moving by me things you know in outer space just really fast and then when I'm out in outer space I could see the stars and the planets but I've noticed I was like zoom in on certain planets I oftentimes see three planets in particular. I believe there's a reason why I'm seeing these three planets, but that's for a different video. And when I'm looking at these planets, I don't tend to see a whole lot of stars or anything like that. But once I start traveling around, you know, it opens up. I could see what you would imagine outer space to actually look like. It's not as dark. It's not as shadowy. Things seem to be defined much better. Like. I have a better visual when I'm in outer space as opposed to when I'm on Earth. I don't know why that is, but I see better out in outer space than I do on Earth. <laughs> Things are crisper, cleaner. Now, a really cool thing about astral projection is you end up in these other realms. And when you're in the fifth dimension and these higher astral realms, whatever you think you can create. So I've been in many situations where I am literally creating the world around me. Sometimes it, it feels like a, a dream almost where I could see the earth, but it looks a little bit different or I'm on another planet. I see people and beings and creatures almost like a dream, but it's real and I can interact with them. I could change things. I, it's almost like lucid dreaming in a way, but I know that I'm in my astral body. I know that I'm in a higher astral realm. I know that I am not lucid dreaming. You can feel it. There is a distinction and you know it when you're in these higher astral realms, but you can literally create your world. So in the fifth dimension, you could play around with things, but you also interact with real entities, real humans, other humans that are traveling around in their astral bodies. Or you may see aliens or other entities like angelic beings and such. So it is really incredible. If you want to know more about the fifth dimension experiences, comment down below and I'll go a little bit more into that in a separate video. But in short, the astral realm looks different depending on where you're at. And you know it, like you will know where on the spectrum you're at. It's, uh, you, you can't get the lower astral realms confused with the higher astral realms. The lower astral realms are something similar to hell. That's where shadow people and shadow parasites reside, demons, and really low vibe energy entities. Some people have literally described it as being in hell because it's so frightening. The energy is so ooh, ooh, intense and just negative. You know that you're in the lower astral realms. It's a terrifying place. 
So you cannot get that confused with the higher astral realms where everything is beautiful and there's angelic beings and you feel a sense of peace and love and happiness. So there's all these different um, places in between. But I really wanted to just describe what it visually looks like in these different places. If you've experienced anything like this before, comment down below and please let me know. I know that I'm not going to speak for everyone else. Some people see different things. So please share your experiences. I'm really interested in knowing. And for more videos like this, be sure to follow me at Astral K. I have a lot of videos on how to astral project, shadow people, aliens, and much, much more. So be sure to follow me and I'll see you all soon.